Chances are, if you're a man in today's society, you have a messed up view of what it takes to be a man. Society promotes this idea of manhood and masculinity that you probably think of someone who is big, strong, jacked, a powerful leader, super assertive all the time, deep voice, <laughs> and like this alpha male type persona. And well, yes, this is somewhat the definition of masculinity, someone that is strong, confident, is able to lead. It is not the definition that I think is suitable for today's day and age. In today's day and age, it's proven that we have only a small percentage of the testosterone that our grandparents, uh, well, our grandpa probably had. And for wh whatever reason this is caused by, it's just the truth. We don't have the same levels of testosterone, but we also don't live in the same society. Women in today's society don't need a man to take care of them 24-7. There are a lot of strong, independent women out there. And so I think we need to rework what it means to be a masculine man in today's society. What I want to do in this video is to deconstruct the typical views of masculinity and shed them in a new light that may be more useful for you to take on and realize that you are already a man, that you are capable of being a very authentic man. One of the main characteristics of masculinity, if you do a quick Google search, is leadership. Now, a lot of people think to be a man, you have to be a leader of other men. You have to be at the front of the pack, this alpha male. And yeah, you can be, but I want to express to you that the most important part of being a man and being a leader and being masculine is leading yourself first. You're never going to be able to lead others unless you first lead yourself. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that you don't have the authority to lead others in a certain direction unless you are already leading yourself in the right directions, unless you are in alignment with your value and making decisions based on your values, your morals, and who you want to be. And the epiphany here is that once you are leading yourself in the right direction, once you are a leader of yourself, other men will naturally start to follow. So I encourage you to be authentic to yourself. Evaluate your values. See if you're living by your values. And if you aren't, change it. Become a leader for yourself. That's the most masculine thing you can do. And once you lead yourself, others are going to want to follow and gravitate you towards you naturally. It won't have to be anything forced. It won't be any pressure on you. It's because you're being yourself. Another common characteristic that people include in masculinity in the conversation is strength. So a lot of people think to be a man, you have to be physically strong. You have to bench press a certain amount. You have to look a certain way physically. But I think all of that is crap. Being a man is about having strength, but not physical strength. Mental strength far outweighs physical strength in value. If you are a man and you are strong enough to live by your values, to, to live life on purpose, in accordance with your purpose, you are strong and you. it doesn't matter how much you can bench press, okay? Finding your purpose and working towards it gives you inner strength far beyond what you could accomplish in the weight room. And now I'm not saying that getting in the weight room isn't a good way to build up this inner strength. It takes a strong mind to build a strong body, but it doesn't take the weight room to be a strong man. My camera died in the middle of recording that video, and I didn't realize till later, but we're back. So I think what I was saying, or what I was kind of getting to, is that for some effed up reason, people in our society have gotten this idea that expressing your emotions makes you less of a man. And that just straight up is not the truth. And the, the belief that if you cry, if you show emotion, if you talk about your feelings, you're not a man, is harming a lot more than it is doing any good. Because when a man goes through something difficult or has some trauma, he's more likely to just put on that stoic face, put on the, the emotionless, the yeah, I'm fine, than he is to reach out to a brother and say, like, listen, man, I'm going through a tough time. Is it okay if I talk about it? Are you here to listen? And if you got a real brother, if you got a real strong man, 
of course he's going to listen. Of course he's going to be there to hold space for you. And being able to be vulnerable around other men is something that our society is missing. This is leading to what people refer to as toxic masculinity and all these sublimated and buried emotions coming out in toxic ways because they weren't dealt with in the first place just by being vulnerable and authentic to yourself. So I think the idea that a man has to be stoic all the time is just not productive. And I'm not saying that men should be crying all the time or making decisions out of emotion, but I am saying there's a time and a space for men to be vulnerable, to to tell other men what they're going through and to open up. Because if you don't, it just leads to health problems like high blood pressure, stress. It's just not good for you. And so the the authentic man has his tribe with him. He's got a strong group of men surrounding him where he is free to talk about what he's going through, express his emotions if he's got to, uh, whether they be positive or negative, and not be ashamed to do that. Not be ashamed to cry when a man's got to cry. This shit's gangster, bro. It's not... It's, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with crying. And that's just that's just my thoughts on the issue. If you've got other thoughts, leave them down in the comments. But these these things I think are conceptions that need to change. Okay, we need to rework our idea of masculinity in the society because I think a lot of men are trying to squeeze themselves into this mold, this ideal man of being super masculine alpha that just doesn't fit everyone and it's okay that it doesn't fit i think the most manly thing that you can do is to just be yourself be authentic to who you are live alignment with your values and to live a life of purpose and if you want help living a life of purpose finding your values working to become an authentic man i'm here to help and even if you don't want to work with me i'm here to help in in any way that I can, especially through these videos. And so I encourage you guys to just go through, go out, be yourselves, be a leader for yourself, be strong mentally, and don't be afraid to be vulnerable. That shit is gangster, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.